Hello, Sync family, um, and welcome to Best Practices for Lead Response Management. Um, this is a training on, on knowing, hey, when are the best times to call our leads in the system? What are the best days to reach out? How often should we reach out? And how persistent should we be when reaching out to our leads? How can we increase the chance of conversation and ultimately increase the chance of setting an appointment with the lead? Everything that I'm gonna be discussing today comes directly from this MIT Lead Response Management Study. It was also published within a Harvard Business Review and they focused on what are the best things we can do each and every day to increase that chance of conversion and increase that chance of actually speaking to a lead, getting that first conversation going with them. So the first thing I do want to dive into, this is something we advocate at Sync, and that is speed to lead. When you see a lead register into your system, we encourage reach out to that lead within their first five minutes of registration. That is going to dramatically increase the chance that a lead picks up your phone call. Remember, they are seeing an unknown number when you are dialing them. And everybody is nervous when it comes to unknown numbers. We don't want to pick up. We don't know who's on the other line. Statistically speaking, if you do dial your leads in those first five minutes, it increases the chance that they're going to pick up the phone. Notice this graph and how much that chance drops if you just wait 10 minutes, if you wait 15 minutes. There is a 10 times decrease after the first five minutes. So reach out to your leads during your workday as soon as you see them come into the system. And really, that also stems from the fact that 86% of home buyers work with the very first agent they talk to. So it's really a race to the finish line. It's a race to getting that person on the phone before any of your competitors because we want to be that person that they work with at the end of the day. So we need to get to them fast and we need to get to them first. This study also focused on persistence and how persistence with a lead can pay off. Um, this MIT study did discover that ultimately the more dials out you make to a lead in your database, it will increase your chance of conversation with that person, which ultimately will increase the chance that you set an appointment with them. So look at these two graphs. That top graph is really showing the chance of making contact. Again, you're calling leads, they are seeing an unknown number. A lot of people will not pick up that first time you try to reach out to them. Do not get discouraged. It is human nature. We get scared of unknown numbers. You might have a lot of leads who don't even pick up that second time or third time you've tried to reach them. Statistically speaking, 80% of all leads will pick up on the fifth attempt you've made to you the fifth attempt you've made to them and then 90% on that sixth attempt. So sometimes it does just take persistence to actually get a hold of a lead, to get them to pick up your phone call. And I like to show that top graph in comparison to the bottom graph that you see here. This is the average call attempts by reps or other agents. Notice a lot of agents, they get a lead, they call that lead one time. They try that lead one time, they don't get an answer, they don't get anyone to pick up, and they stop. Some agents might try that lead a second time, maybe a third time, but notice how little agents are calling their leads those four, five, and six times when we know statistically, and according to that top graph, that is often what it's gonna take to get somebody to answer our phone call. So we encourage stay persistent with your leads. Um, give them at least five calls bare minimum, five days a week, reach out to them. And the more persistent you are, the more likely you're gonna have that conversation and be able to start working with that individual. 
The last two things that I do want to focus on are what are some of the best days to prospect? What are some of the best times to call leads? Um, and this MIT study did find that Wednesdays and Thursdays can be some of the, the best two days within our work week to really prospect and call leads. And the reasoning behind this is that those two days are kind of in that middle of the week. Sometimes people are busy on Mondays and Tuesdays. They're just getting into that, that work week and they don't have the time to really pick up a phone call. Um, and then at, on Fridays, people are focused on the weekend. They're checked out. They're done for the week. So Wednesdays and Thursdays are great times to prospect. Now, again, I encourage your being persistent with l these leads in your database and you are calling them at least five days a week. But Wednesdays and Thursdays are great days to consider if you are going to do an extra hour of prospecting once a week, or if you and your team ever do power hours where you make a fun event of calling leads and together as a team, you call the leads in your database. If you ever want to do an extra hour of prospecting or a team power hour, I would always consider doing that on Wednesdays and Thursdays. And then ultimately, what are the best times to make contact during this Monday through Friday time uh, period? And statistically, we MIT did discover that the best times to actually reach leads, get people to answer the phone, the best time is actually between four and five at night. But notice we also got a increase in answers between eight and nine in the morning. So kind of that beginning of the workday as well as the end of a workday for individuals. So I encourage time blocking these two hours in your calendar five days a week and prospect to your leads during these times. And I encourage change it up. Don't always call and prospect between the hours of eight and nine. Try calling those exact same leads later in the day between four and five at night. Sometimes you have people who are night owls. They are more likely to answer a phone call at the end of the day when the night is starting. Um, and then you have the opposite end of the spectrum. You have people who are morning individuals. They are wide awake, ready to go in the morning, and they are going to have a higher chance of picking up your phone call between that eight and nine time frame. Um, sometimes in the middle of the day, people are busy at work. They don't have time to really answer a phone call. Some people don't even have time to really pay attention to their phone. Um, so I always say consider prospecting during that eight to nine period and that four to five time frame as well. Um, and again, these are just some best practices, how to reach leads in your system, increase that chance of conversation, which at the end of the day will increase that chance of conversion.